Hey everybody, welcome back to Zemius Gamer, and let's continue the playthrough on Divinity 2 Original Sin. This is how I guess a lot. Come on, old man. That's it. I can't cool, wait cool. all day. Pay up. So I can learn how to make fire some grenades, minor healing portions. Huh? What are you doing here? Thought Griff had you making the rounds inside. Lucky you. See you later, Flora. Flora? Okay. What are you after, Pip Squawk? Complain to Griff if you don't like it. See how long you keep your ears stuck to your head. Ha. Huh. I'm pretty sure I can take him on. Oops. Yeah, it's funny, I'm allowed to have weapons and stuff still <laughs> on me. Bless the void. Overtaken devour. You there? I'm looking for an inmate. He wears a large bronze ring with a dragon stamped into it. Name of Migo. Have you seen him? None of your business, inmate. Find me if you hear of a Migo. Otherwise, don't. Okay. The cat's eyes are clouded and grey. But it's what's going on? I told him at noon exactly, didn't I? My baby Irma. She's called Irma. I haven't seen her in days. In days, wow. Shit. What a mother. I'm sick with worry. Completely sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. I last saw her just here, near three days ago. She was playing with her little doll, and I was washing out her tunic. I turned from her for one moment, and she was gone. Left her doll behind too. Kidnapping. It's so unlike her. This place turns people cold, cold and wicked. That fellow Jeth over there speaks unutterable evil, but I can't move away from him. What if Irma comes back and I'm not here? Hmm. Yes, of course. Here, Irma's you should doll. take it with you. When you find her, give her the doll and tell her. Mummy says this is for her little chicken, and it's time to come home. That's what I call her, my little chicken. Irma. I don't think she was that girl I met earlier, was was she? She soaks up a steady stream of tears with her shirt. She ought to come with you then. She ought to follow you back to me. You are an angel. This don't belong to Pharaoh's daughter Irma. Tears stain and torn. It's, it is a bleak reminder of the heartbreak suffered by the green woman. It's time to accept reality. Huh. A little respect for Griff's right hand. A fella sure. can't hear himself think with all this racket. Day and night, you hear that, Farah? You got to cut that out. What's happened to you? Aye, she needs help, but none that I can give. Matters a cooker, that one, and twice as loud. What else do you call hollering after a ghost? That child of hers she's shouting after has been dead and buried a month over. Killed by a void woken back in our home village. Never even stepped foot in Fort Joy. Wow. Shit. And there ain't no amount of hollering that'll bring her back. Hmm. Great face of it, I'm not mad, find a face reaper, or find someone who can Sweet make one. She's gone, face reaper. Do you find a mask or make a new one? Fanny will keep the scuttle face cover. Don't 
streamer. Just her name Migo. Some Fortress must know her way out. Where are you, darling? Farah. She ain't coming back. Ah, you're back. Please. Did you find Irma? She still hasn't returned. Where could she be? My dear bless you. I wonder if this guy can talk to her. Please. Please. You must help me. No one here will help me. Not one of these bastards. She was... She was here. I'm sick with worry. Completely mm. sick. And no one in this damn camp will lift a finger to help me find her. Of course. But... But... I had it just a moment ago. Here in my pocket. Divine above. I've lost my baby <laughs> What and the hell? This lady's well. crazy. What in Lucian's name is going on? This place turns people... You are an ex... Ah, you're back. Please. Did you find Irma? She... <coughs> You've been talking to that snake, Jeff, haven't you? I don't know where he gets these obscene lies. It's sick. Totally sick. To torture a mother so. You hmm. stay away from that man. Do you hear me? Irma isn't... What Jess says... Wow. She ignores you and continues... I'm sorry, but you must leave. My baby's terrified of lizards. She may be hiding from you even now. Irma! Irma, <laughs> darling, are you here? Terrified lizards. Please, sweetheart. Where are you? I'm sorry, but you have to go. What if you've scared her off? What? Terrified lizards. Mad, darling. I'm not mad. Sweetheart. Farah. She ain't coming back. He hasn't changed a bit. Always late. I should throw you arrow. Achieve. What advice for the unarmed? Find a sharp piece of metal. Wrap one in cloth. Now you have a shield. You're no longer unarmed. Farah. She ain't coming back. Arrived, isn't that right? Are you... Are you quite alone? Nice folks, but they're probably better off without you. You won't regret it. Not when you hear what I've got to say. We need to be quick, though. You never know when the Magisters are going to haul you off. I've been here a long time. Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. Well, I don't know if I believe it, and I don't want to wait and find out. I'm pretty sure the cure is death. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just one. Are you interested? Hmm. Believe whatever you want. This may be your only chance at leaving this place. Take it or don't. Oh, noble. But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing. I think I'll be fine. Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? Yeah. I'll stick with my companions. Lassler. Wait a sec. Lord, sir, is that you? You remember me, right? Laszlo, from the Whistling Warriors. We opened up for you in Shoulder. Must have been... God, around five years ago now. You know not Lord, sir. I knew it was you. So they're letting just any old riffraff into this joint now, eh? Of sorcery, reduced from nearly every inmate. Ha! Can you believe that load of crap? Cure. 
the sauce inside you. Be like curing the flawless sheen of my beard. So tell me, Lucy girl, any of those voices of yours explain how the devil the Order intends to cure us anyhow? Too bad. Always seemed like a fun crowd to have knocking around the old noggin. Even without him, you can't let this place get to you. You hear me? The Order might have your freedom for now, but you can't let them take your spirit too. Well, the spirit is probably one of the things I want them to take away from me. Leave the spirit supposed to be that's inside of me. I bought a song to you both up, like old times, so they can take. Really want from you, including your spirit. Why every word, though? Now that's the spirit. How about one of your old hits? How'd it go? Come to me, the night is dark. Can I still play? Wow. That's neat. Ha! That was great! You still got it, kid. Boy, but if seeing you doesn't bring me back to old times. Good times. Take this, eh? Something to remember the better days. You take care of yourself, Losa girl. So I got loot, huh? Musical instrument. Been a while since I had one of these in my hands. I wonder if I can still play. Destroy but no, not now. No, leave me alone. Destroy the loot. That's cool. I hope you're happy. What was the point of that? Huh, that's cool. Activated like some uh, murderous guys. No, uh, the thing inside activated the voice inside. Inside, smash this. This. Oh, ten bottles of mead. Thousand pots of dust. Where is this when guy another from? The lizard's brow knits together, then apart, and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Let me talk. The king's guy. brow knits together, mm, then apart thing. and back again. He seems to be swimming deep in his thoughts and doesn't look up as you approach. Hmm? The ground. I don't know what you... I'm just trying to work it out. What happened? Why? Recognize you? Of course I recognize you. You're the Red Prince. That's about as obvious as a very obvious thing. Your point? I guess the lizards talk like very high and mighty, I suppose. What would you like me to say? I know you're the Red Prince. You know you're the Red Prince. Why should we discuss it? Hmm. My mind? What else, Kin? I'm wondering why. All of this. Source. The Void Book. The okay. Divine. Why? So you, are, you often ask yourself the same questions. So why is history all that matters is what to do now? We've used Source for thousands of years. We have used it to heal, to grow. How can it be that it suddenly summons these, these horrors from the void? And when will Alexander ascend to divinity? We cannot continue like this. Hmm. That's weird. I fear it will be quite some time before we find any answers at all, my friend. Hmm? Goods? Ah, yes. Five or in two discounts, one percent. Restoration skill book. Restore vitality of a target character. Restoration also cures poison oh, bleeding. Ten bottles of mead, oh. Wow, cost 225. Armor of Frost skill book. Health strike skill book. And rain. 
Rain would be useful. This stuff I want to sell. Uh, this bucket. Value of the trade offer. Offer all wares. You sold in one gold. This is a good way to keep your inventory manageable. Cost me 24, but he's giving me six for it. No, a set. Right to the bear. The price you can raise the trade out by gifting items from gold. This is all items. Sell some more garbage. There you go. Awesome. Leave him be. And now let me talk to him. So your passenger really doesn't like music, does it? It just doesn't like it when you're happy. So you think he just doesn't like it when you're happy? Doesn't it worry you that it can take control of you just like that? It worries me too. I'm sure. Yes, by all means, let us partake in the art of conversation. Asper's prince will guide him here. Why is it possible rule to another fortune? There was a small incident which prompted my many rivals to move against me technically they had the letter of the law on their side <laughs> yeah. such a nuisance the law quite necessary to keep the common in line of course but one such as myself it should exempt as a matter of course done with authority except for the law at least of all those who claim they should be What I meant was that, being authority, I shouldn't be under any thumb. I had thought that was perfectly obvious. Sadly, that enlightened point of view quite clearly turned out to be academic. If not, we wouldn't be having this very conversation. Uh. I hardly know you as yet. Let's leave some mystery in the relationship, shall we? We can exchange criminal records later. <laughs> Is it not enough that you travel with me? Must you speak too? Man, Go these guys on, are fucking bark assholes. Away. Let's see if we can find any method in it. I'm curious, these people that you know so what they like. Ah, this is perhaps the first intelligent question you have asked. After all, one should always try to learn from one's betters. My people are a race far beyond anything that exists in the world today. We seek to master the secrets of the universe. We craft wonders to last through the ages, long after your crude tools have rusted to nothing. And yet, they're nowhere. Oh, right here. I... I do not know. There are rumors that some have been found at the Black Pits. An oil field on Reaper's coast. Because I was trying buried. to uncover the truth when I was waylaid by these magisters. But wherever the artifacts of my people are, I will find them. We have not simply vanished into thin air. There is a great variety among our people. Some are tall and lithe, others short and muscled. Some come in a variety of eye-catching colors. Others you can barely see at all. Hmm. This is what makes you such an abomination, you see. You almost look exactly like every other human out there. Just as every lizard looks like every other lizard. Ah, oh, so they're all very weird. <laughs> they all look like different 
things, I guess, elementals maybe. Walking through this world is as repulsively bland as staring at a wall for a century. After a while, the very sight of you disgusts me. Uh, no offense, of course. No, no, I should not. Not yet. Not until I know what truly befell my people. And after all, I am still here, despite the Void Woken's best efforts. So this mask is looking for what is it exactly? The mask of the shapeshifter. In my time, it was nothing more than a novelty, a toy, really. I crafted one for my child once. She spent the day trying to convince me that she was her mother, even though the face I used looked nothing like her. Of course, now that toy could be the difference between life and... Well, it makes a difference. With that mask, I can shapeshift and walk through this world looking like any other simple mortal. I could look like a lizard, a dwarf, a human, any creature whose face I can procure. That might be useful. Even though I probably will get a dwarf and an elf in my party, he can shapeshift between all the different races and talk to them as kin. It certainly makes traveling through towns easier. If it should. Oh, it's quite simple. One just acquires a face, a source orb, and combines the two to make a face mask. Also, oh, it needs to kill someone to get their face. Combining several of these single face masks along with a source orb will produce a mask of the shapeshifter. Frankly, I'm amazed everyone isn't doing it. Probably because because you gotta rip, rip faces off of people, maybe dead people. <sighs> Trust you, bloody-minded beasts, to turn a child's trinket into a wicked purpose. People like you are the reason it must be recovered. I am using the mask to keep myself safe from the violence of this world. Who knows what evil it could do in the hands of some mortal witch? Well, you can't blame him. I'm a witch. I should have probably made a witch character. Not nah, conjure was fine. Even though a witch would be more to her character. The spirits and stuff. Mm. Conjure would be good. It's good. Face the light round. Oh, of course there are. How many hundreds of thousands of you people have died over the years? Almost all of them seem to have been disposed of while still wearing perfectly serviceable faces. It's a terrific waste. Still, huh. without the proper tool to remove the face from a corpse, I cannot take advantage of the many cadavers you're providing. So if you happen across anything that seems capable of ripping a face off a body, please do let me know. Fear? Please. Why would I fear these creatures? It's a practical choice. Nothing more. Moving through this world is so much easier when you don't have to lecture some torch-wielding lunatics on the dangers of an open flame. Huh. Oh, I think of them as little as possible. As much, I imagine, as you think of gadflies that buzz about you. Not that there is anything wrong with you, of course, just that you're... Well, not mm. all that impressive. Humans are no better or worse than the other race. They're prone to hatred and fighting, but they can come together when it's most important. As impeccably mundane as I have come to expect from this world, regardless, further study will be required. In fact, the skeleton pulls a notebook from his robes and starts scribbling. After a moment, he pauses and looks back to you. Uh, uh, sorry, do carry on. Just act as you do in your natural environment. Simply pretend I'm not here. Yeah, that's why he's studying me. Well, I thought a brief swim in the sea, lying in the sun for a while, and maybe read a nice book. Or, perhaps, and this is just a thought, we could find my mask and escape this wretched island. Okay. So, Farah and Jeth are over it's there. Down here is, is Rezik, and Nido, Lassler, so, Mara, I don't think I've spoken to her yet. The woman is scrabbling at her throat, as though she can hardly breathe. It's slowly asphyxiating. <laughs> don't 
touch me. You're too close. This color, this place, it's squeezing the life from me. Squeeze back. Do you? You seem fine. Don't you feel how tight this collar is? And there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. Maybe Isben or whatever his name is can uh, help with that. Change it. Her hands it move her. again to her throat. She seems to try to make space between her neck. Hmm. It's getting <gasps> tighter. Weird. Is this Septa the ineffable? Beast is there, Naren, and Margo. Attention, lower your six more round and do us, please. Ha! Huh, colored like a dog. A very pink, very long dog. I'd pity you, but Shaka the Ineffable has no patience for weakness. <laughs> Insult! You should be honored that I would even talk to you. I am the most powerful sorcerer to have ever scuttled upon this shore. No exactly what's called Sias. Crab, how it came by source power, scuff and say that the crab sounds like it has an inferior inferiority complex. But of course, they'll happily dump your maggot ridden corpse into the sea when they're through with you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he laughs. <laughs> I'm Alfred. <laughs> Sorcerers dance while magistrates pull the strings. Fools all! Their tomfoolery won't save them from the destruction the void shall wreak upon them. Sounds like it has a very high score, but I can't buy sports power. This power is my birthright, same as yours, but one of us has grown to astounding heights and the other has sunk into depths too humiliating to describe. Pity. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Sapta. You shouldn't think about yourself like that. Ha! Huh. Of course, precious. But which is worse, the cure of the disease? Yes, I'm surrounded by inferior creatures, none of whom recognize my greatness. <laughs> I'm sure. What's that? Ah, oh. <coughs> Sorry about that. Whisper wood. Okay, must have found a new area. Uh, crocodiles, huh? Oh shit. Man. <laughs> Man. Alright, so. I can fortify, dragon's blaze. Oh. Battle stump. Damn, nothing kind of reaches, huh? That reaches. Yeah, why not? Can use it again in two turns. Now it's my turn. Specialize around you, increasing the primary att attributes. Um, I'm gonna do that. Why is this like that? care if they die or not. Scale portation. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright, so I can use that. Nice. 
and then some daggers. Oh, I forgot there's a portal bow. Well, it doesn't matter. I wouldn't do much of anything. Gloves of teleportation. Grant skill of teleportation. Hmm. Good. Might be useful for my warrior. So I'll give that to the red prince. Here, he can have that. And you can have that. Do I have the intelligence? Yes, I do. I think that's just you know the base stats. Then. Richard Torso, Magilla, dead body right here. Plus danger and all. The rumors are true. I'll be rich as an agent. Can expect less from the King's Vault. Even one on the prison island. It was anything like the. Silver Glen jails. Getting out will be as easy as getting in. Don't take any social work these days. That's easy enough to fake. <laughs> so much for him. Landed. Found a good mark right away. Says he's got a teleport spell I can filch easy enough. Just have to say I, I'd escape with him. Hard beer for me to lead a stranger to all that gold though. So close I can almost smell it. So I can use a teleport spell, say with, let's say with the Red Prince, to get to places where I couldn't normally get to. The boat ought to be just outside the prison. If I can believe Barbara, her map's my golden trick, golden ticket. I can see it behind my lids when I close my eyes. Barbara, Barbara. Hmm. Bottle of wine and some gold. There's a rigid torso, a bloody arm, a separate head, some intestines. Wow. Wow. Fucking carrying this cool or crazy shit. What does it say about him? Looking fresh for some hellish abattoir. It's hard to imagine that this partially dismembered torso was once a walking, talking, thinking being just like you. Got too much shit here. Soggy diarrhea. Oh, 
first night here don't seem like it'll be too bad. Found some required to sleep. Find enough to drive bread to last me. Boots. Oh, this is the guy. Should sell some of this stuff when I can. I got bloody arm. Should I pick one and I pick? Oh, I see how that goes. Ah, so I can teleport myself or other people. Harku just walked up here. Yeah. Travel with me. Go on then. Bark. Um, okay. Oh, he's slow. That effect doesn't go away. Alright, now I went away. Scepter and his. his I found you, didn't I? Red, they said. Red, then dead. Not an attempt, mate. Not if I can bloody help it. Time's up, Your Highness. Let's dance. Not really? <laughs> wrong with him? He's blinded. Okay. Ah, we're all blinded, so is he's uh, a lot closer. So much life does he have? He'll probably do ignition. Let's just walk a little bit closer. Their 
frightful manners I mind the most, really. Haste girl sets haste sets haste status on the character. Haste increases movement speed by two meters per AP and gives an additional one AP per turn. They're slowed and crippled. I'll give that to Fane. Naren, you have served me well in the past. You will do so again. Use the scroll included with this letter and cast it in the public square in Arcs. You will be arrested for source use and shipped to Fort Joy. Once on the island, you will search for a red skinned lizard. You will kill him. You will cut the body to pieces. You will ensure no magic in the world can restore him back to life. You have your orders. Your weight in gold awaits you. Good luck and good hunting. So much for that. Uh, life essence. Oil bath flask. Get that to the reference. Disability potion. Minor healing. That and some leather armor. Which I will put. Leather armor is really. key. I can just drop that shit too. Oh, I can combine this key with other stuff. I wonder if that'll do anything. Oops. Ah, oh, fuck. I don't want to carry that shit. Fucking cooking pot. Reads, come join me where it's hot, come join me at the fire, come join me run the pot, that's how we make our dinner. Ah, cooking station. Ah, what does that say? Escape from your Brazil, hunt under the collar, ba ba ba. The red prince was waylaid by a paid assassin, but who sent him? Vault and the valley for the thief who planned it. Perhaps we might succeed where it failed. Where they failed. Well, if he died over here. I don't know of any vault. Except the map that this lady had. The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. She seems totally at peace, but as you approach, she... Haven't seen you around here before. New? Well, don't worry too much if you have a hard time settling in. Take you here alone. She gives you a long look. You keep them friends of yours close, eh? Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. Not much in this world someone you love can't make better. Used to be I had a family. A husband and a little boy. We were healers. Source was in our blood and they brought us here. I couldn't stop them from taking my boys from me when they did. Reckon they were cured. Maybe even released. Don't know why the Reds didn't take me too. I now doubt. I'm just waiting for him to call my name. Waiting and remembering. No point. The way I see it, there's no point to all this here if I forget what came before. Ah. Uh. What 
do you think we are then? Cosmic accidents? I've seen plenty and hurt plenty too, but I don't believe for a second that it ain't worth something. All of it. Put your faith in old Margo. She's not known to... The woman looks out on the gently lapping waves. Haven't seen you around here before. <laughs> I can reset you? things with other characters. Hey. That'll happen here. You here alone? She gives you a lot. You think twice about facing this mean world alone, eh? Someone to... Dr Some of us haven't got anyone at all anymore. It's nothing. If I haven't learned that by now, used to be I had a fan and they brought us. Now I'm just waiting for him to call my name. Waiting. Her eyes spark. Kind of you to ask. Stefan. He was my little one. Smart as a whip and no less wicked. And my husband, he was called Felix. He was an expert healer. Could fix a broken bone in a short minute. So from sounds lovely and thanks for her. Sure. She talks for some time about birthdays, about Felix's prickly beard, about the skunk Stefan once dragged home. Joy radiates from her as she remembers. She places a warm hand on your shoulder. Some what skeleton. A gift to think of them. I'd like to give something to you too. Restorations for a family recipe. One of Felix's best. He'd be happy to know it went to such a a warm soul. Take care of yourself. You hear? You're a sweet one. Fane? Really? Well, that was rather fun, wasn't it? I do find it ever so invigorating to cut a cutthroat's throat. Oh, one gets used to this kind of thing so quickly. This is hardly the first time someone's filled some poor fool's purse and bid him kill the prince. I'll tell you what, though. Whomever wants me out of the picture will have to do a lot better if they seek to get the better of me. Well, considering that this historian world was pretty strong for what it was. For what it was. All those bumblers they've sent so far mark a mere insult to my swordsmanship. Who's here? Mal. Just a few shells there. And in again. Here you are. I wonder what keeps you. Tell me. Watch your trade with the lady. Ah, your tongue is not my tongue. Elves speak of here and now, not then and when. These words strike us strangely. We are unfamiliar yet familiar. We are the same material, you agree. I am very curious. So tell me. Tell me your tale. Start from the beginning. Start from where you come. I see, I see. Now tell me more. Tell me what you do. Tell me what you find. You cannot say what you speak. I understand. Now tell me how your story ends. Find something you lost, say you hope your burners will be lifted. I see it in your shoulders. The weight you carry. I take this rope. It is a gift. It is common. But it helps you lift burdens. It is nothing. Many fragments swell on my shore. See what I gather. Okay. Lock pick is useful. Well, I can just use feint, I suppose. Soap, scrub all you like. This horse bounds. This horse hounds can still catch the scent of swords. He has this gold, so. <coughs> Sorry. Darling bowl and the first bowl. Wonder how much you'll give me for that. Thirty-eight. 
I better give him something else. A pocket knife. So heavier is garbage. Mm. Crack sword. Provide staff. Button three. Portrait of evil. Show and shuffle. Lusty as a dwarf's blush. Sunky diary. A silencing of source. Uh, Rick's letter to his beloved. Intestines. Rope is always good, right? He has some stuff here, let's see, uh, we'll take that, repair hammer. Do I have to repair armor or stuff like that? I'm not sure. Fortify! Contamination! <laughs> oh, except it's too expensive anyways. Poison dart, and fossil strike. She has portrayed. Probably get rid of more junk anyway. You won't regret keeping those friends of yours at your right hand. I brought my own share of knowledge with me from the get go. She has a restoration skill book. Restoration scroll. Wow. Why well, this costs so much money than just a skill book? I draw some place. Doesn't have much cash. Teleport the red prince there. Is there any point of that? Oh, this allows me to teleport for target character or item to a point of your choosing. Looks like a teleport fame. Oh, I can't do that. Really? <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do, but okay. I messed that up. That's fun though, doing teleportations. Looks up at you, but doesn't lift his graying head from his paws. 
He heaves a heavy sigh. I'm... I'm Buddy. <laughs> the tip of his tail starts to wag. It's... It's no use anyway. That just has nice juicy leg. <laughs> The dog tentatively sniffs the offering, then grabs it between its teeth. You're... you're nice. Emmy would have... Emmy would have loved you. She was my mate for the last seven, carried the two, plus fifty... <laughs> wow. Five years! The Magisters, they took her. This is a magical pet, magical dog. Hey, let me show you something. Oh shit. Buddy's Lucky key. Find. Sturdy, slick, sticky, key smelling family of dog. Huh. That opens what exactly? There's a looks like there's a cave there, which Ooh. I'll go later on. Oh, hey, hey! I thought you might be Emmy. It's. I think I love you. <laughs> Not too far from here. But she was taken by a guy in a white robe who smelled horrible, like lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of dogs, and also a little like like dead people. <laughs> dragged her to the big castle just there. I'm so worried about her. Key? What key? Oh, the key! The magister who took Emmy dropped it when he was walking away. Did someone say Emmy? If you find mm. out where it leads, if you see Emmy. Okay. Talk to Lesty. And who the fuck is this? Dana is almost dead. By the Queen's beard. It looks like you lost a fight with a claw hammer. Reckon you're in need of something to heal yourself up, eh? Except she thinks you look bad, she could see the other guy. Calling me unimpressed, you old bro. It's always the braggarts who cry the hardest when you stitch them up. Lucky for you. I think a good old-fashioned potion will do you. Instead of a potion, she hands you an empty bottle and a fat brown mushroom. Hmm. Not scared of a little elbow grease, are you? A girl ought to know how to put herself right. Go mushroom ahead and combine the, the mushroom okay. with the vial. Once you've mastered the technique, you'll never need help from a crusty old quack like me again. Dane's as stubborn as an old steer. Says he don't believe in alchemy and won't accept a potion from me or anyone else. But Jack and Nip would rather die than drink something that ate at least 30 proof. And Jack and Nip, I've heard that for a while. Still, my job ain't to judge, but to heal. Or if that fails, to comfort. Seems that's all I can do for old Dane anymore. Business savvy. Don't be profane. This is people's health we are talking about. She's pretty and good I though. get by just fine in the meantime, thank you kindly. Minor healing potion. So I can make them from these mushrooms or to see how much she's Oof. So it, it is that one hundred eighteen dollar price. Uh, eighteen gold coins price. Here I can get community cloak. Bull horns. Chicken claw and tentacle lash. Light golden teaspoon. Hmm. She has no money. So I can make yes, a toy cross. To a twig with a stick. And 
I don't know why he... Oh, I can do that with different uh, items. Give it a knife. Minor healing potion. Combine. Ah. Armor, food. Cooking station. Cooking pot and campfire. Make a cooking station. Out my face, or I'll, I'll punch your lights out. <laughs> Those bleeding fools think, think they run the place, but, but I showed them. <laughs> sure, first, always <laughs> win. Second, never. <laughs> <laughs> what is kind of idiot? Your mug out of here. All right. Out my, out my face. Put him up. Oh, 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 I don't think so, Mister. You'll return to your bed, or I'll flatten you myself. <laughs> my eye, you will. I yes, yes, I'm sure you will. Now lay down, you sir. I'll thank you not to provoke my patience. And that's a courtesy I'll only offer once. <laughs> oh, my. He smacks your hand away, refusing. You're trying to kill me, ain't you? Git! Git! Those bleeding fools think, think they run the place. I. I. Save your spirit to fight the Reaper. What's up here? Mutilated corpse. Mutilated corpse. And who's up here? Meagle. Okay. Murderous guys. The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. All right. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful. Or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, Guy's crazy. a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Mm. Mm. Quickly <coughs> now, for I haven't much time. Now, now, or didn't you hear me? Where grows the yarrow? Dire. Dire, dire, and for you too, if you want to keep your top screwed on and your wires in a row. Do you hear me? Maybe I was supposed to speak to somebody else first to get the answer to this. Maybe not, because what the fuck is this shit here? You delay corpses. Except tell the creature you can't help, he needs to leave you be. So he seems to be in quite a lot of pain after I've discovered the source of it. <laughs> Where does the yarrow grow? Where? Damn. Looks be fucked up. Very fucked up. lot of armor though. I can fortify. So fortifies eleven physical armor. What well, fortify card can make blood for those portions bleeding burning acid. Huh.
target is blocked. Oh, no, I can't do it there. Right here. So the totem down with fire damage. Daggers. Will do damage to my guys? Yep, I did. I burned them and slowed them. Hmm. Not the best use of that. Fuck, ah, oh, fuck, I didn't. Uh, dumb me. I should have. No, come on. Really? Bullshit. there. Alright, Migo. Migo's breastplate. Good. Give that to the Red Prince. And Migo's ring. Grand skill restoration. Give that to me. The dead man, creature, thing, lies in a heap on the beach. Gone bad, I suppose. Whatever it was, it was too dangerous to be allowed to live. Give their own answers. It had to die. You can't leave something like that alive. So, restore vitality to our character sure also, also cures poison and bleeding. Red Prince will equip this. Not bad, not bad. It looks better on the human though. Well, this leather armor can be given to uh, Bane. Just to rest, I guess. Take an arm. Mm, to lay a corpse. Nothing. Intestines. Death by glass. Ah. Give it to Lowe's. I mean, to Fane. He found her Lowe's. You found an identified glass. 
name is Losa. If your lore master ability is high enough, you'll be able to, ad to identify items. Press right mouse button on any unidentified item and select identify. I don't think I have anything like that right now. None delayed corpse. Nothing. Hmm. So I guess that was me go. Murderous guys. Guys to the beach is dead. Oh, Magister Garrow. He was a geist. The game touch. Sh a shank. Some gold. Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was among the sorcerers with whom you fought the Voidwoken down in the hold of the sinking ship. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? There is no fame here and no melodies either. Only the accursed. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice a flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Let me tell you a little story. Once upon a bad old time, <coughs> a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. But now I'm free of sorts and i've traced that lizard here to fort joy i intend to raise the subject with him i hope it's not the red prince i don't think so she drives the needle in deeper and whispers in truth it does not matter in the least who you really are you saw me mark my prey you could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. A bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Escape? <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. <laughs> well played. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an me. easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide and seek. So, 
What role would you like me to play? Ah, death is always a good companion. As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. So I can... Any martial experience will change her to a fighter class. But your arts make me make her archer, rogue, etc. I guess. And magic would be conjure, changer, or whatever. Be cool to have an inquisitor. Suits me fine. Lead on, or better yet, let me take the lead. Then follow me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Seville in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side, for the moment. Yeah. Sybil. And what does she have? She has throwing knife, damages based on your basic attack, and receives a bonus from finesse and against the backstab. Backlash jump over the enemy, letting them behind their pack and backstabbing them. Hmm. Adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Flesh sacrifice. Mm. Break the shackles. Can't use flurry. Perform three quick attacks, each dealing six. Seven. Okay. And what does she have on her? Two pocket knives. No a shift. Two shifts. Do I have anything that can be used by her? No. Not at the current. She can eat stuff though. I got that special shipment he was asking after. Mm, skills from items is that flurry. Never learned anything new, so. Looks like I got more memory skills. See how her back's of ability works. Nice range. Buddy, the doctor, Mona, a mirror. Dreamer's resting place. Ah, so right here is where there's uh, the Red Prince's quest. Here's more of the fords. So I got Sybil. So this is Fort. I know that look well enough. You're about to pop, ain't ya? Why don't you enter a match and let some of that frustration out the right way? You'll find out. Down the hatch then. Hmm. Mm -hmm. tail. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm very tired. Abominably. Excuse me, ever so tired. So tired. Excuse me, ever so tired. All right. What's wrong with the source muted? Nothing. Not scared, are ya? Go on, Danny Hatch. Poison arrowheads, stained pants. Crack sword. Pillow. stuff.
course you do. Is that the arena? To the arena. Yes. Is it an audience you desire? Fail. They receive me, so. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just. Shut up, elf. This clown, we caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> he'll talk or he'll die quiet. Wonder if he really killed man or if he pieces of food. Took if he has no right to keep a man locked up in here in such bad condition. I'd probably kill him, but... Let's see. All I want is my supplies. <coughs> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Ain't been here long, have ya? <coughs> no one gets to have it all. No one starves anyone else. He twirls his knife between his fingers. Divine's gone. This blade is the only god watching over Fort Joy. Hmm. An elf, caked in mud and blood, looks up at you from the bottom of the cage. He holds his shoulder at a strange angle. Despite his condition, he appears eager for your attention. You... You... Believe what he says? That I am a thief? Deceptive. Like most men behind bars, I'm innocent. Like most of us here on the island, in fact. Aren't you like me, looking for a way out? I'm sure he's not innocent. Some people settle in. They don't go poking around in Griff's kitchen. They find a... Not you. I can't wait around for the match to secure you. Smart. In this case, I think we help each other. I know a way out. I show you. And you? You help me out of here. I cannot die in this cage. Trust is all we have here. I do not counterfeit. I have... Honor. Finally. Progress. Griff releases me if he sees I do not have what he misses. We, you, must find who steals them. After I am free, you are free. I see no one. In fact, I only hear the sound of Griff clearing his throat. You know how he does? <clears throat> like so. For some time, I think Griff takes his own supplies. But I see the anger in him that he does not find it. He truly does not find what he seeks. I intend no harm. I want only some provisions. A bit of bread, a potato or two. Nothing Griff should be loath to give. I need to escape and, and I have people to consider. You understand. Griff is a powerful man. Power is mysterious. In case you haven't... <clears throat> Thank you. Hmm. Okay. What's this? Arena of the One. Ah. Arena is down here. How you pick them? 
Does it show if I put this? Set inactive. Set active. Now it's on map. Okay. Do not show an active quest. I'll do this once I have more companions. Amiro Griff. This Griff suddenly might have glances for me. from his blade to you and back again. Sure, have a look. Damn, he has a lot of gold. Nice. If a magister finds this on you, offer a price control chain. Shit, four thousand. The robe. I forgot about that. I can keep that. Hmm. Broken source collar, stolen or unbreakable. So get a bunch of shit out of here. A magic sphere of ball. If a magister finds this on you, skull. You forget my name here. Jealous skull. Irma's doll. Tongues. Go cup. Drops. Not done arrow show. Shank. to that girl. Lucy in the black ring. Oh, that's what he was reading, I guess. Fane's notebook. Don't tell anyone where you got this, eh? Everything there. Good. Good. Let me see. You already know the terms. Nothing else to say. I got this shiv that's four to five. This does four to five as well. Just so shank. Does it really matter? Shiv, shank, same shit. Ah, durability. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did meet so much. Griff glances from his blade. Sure, have a Keep it down, will we up? Get rid of that. And what do I have here? Let me read Fane's notebook. This notebook is filled with meticulous notes observing the traits and habits of the mortal races. It details the foods they eat, clothes they wear, and their speech patterns. So includes some rather confused diagrams of their mating habits. <laughs> wow. Really removed, huh? I've got that special shipment you was asking after. Ain't fit for beasts. Sent to Sybil. Uh, let's see here. A scroll and smoothie potions. The encyclopedia. 1218 AD, Lucy and the Black Ring. This treatise. Sorry. <coughs> I apologize. <coughs> wow. Damn. Drink some water. Mm. This treatise. Twenty described the goes goods. to great lengths to cut document the genesis of the Black Ring. Did meet so much. As best he can. In summary, Lucian's job to his son, Damien, was resentful of his father and became the Lord of Chaos. Which sounds extreme, but according to Hubert, Damien may have good reason. There is much about Lucian's killing of Ingerna, Damien's lover. 
Damien's banner attracted Cabal of Outcasts, Deviants, Dark Whispers, and various other tainted and tarnished individuals. The Cabal became an army fighting for the Lord. Hmm. I guess that's the first game. I got that special shipment you was she asking. She also has after. gold. They all have gold, there, huh? Pick your coin then. Why do they have gold? Give that to those. Send it all to those. I don't think it even matters. You can do the harder anyways. Um she can eat. Worse than war rations, these. Eat that leg. A single name throbs across your brain. Verdas, Verdas, Verdas. He must escape. He cannot die here. He cannot. Hmm. Ain't fit for beasts. Science of resistance. Fight, you forget my name here. Master Atosa was to help someone called yeah, Verdas no escape the you. fort. Perhaps Atosa had accomplices. Hmm. Path to common knowledge. Claim he could have helped us escape. Someone for Joe must know the way out. Ah. Uh. Man, the fort will be relieved. Killing grief. Grief isn't really strong. Eating a whole torso. Fuck. Actually, she can have this the robe. And the leather armor can go to Sybil. Most the more rations, these. Looking around Fort Joy, you feel excited. A new environment to explore, new people to meet, new challenges to overcome. There's hmm. nothing there. In oh, that's Animal High. It's not that. That's not the Perhaps torso. Perhaps those bleeding dwarves did need so much. What the fuck is the torso? Oh, yeah. You are ever sodden, ever sandy. The smell of guts and sea waste cling to you like a ghost. You sought freedom, the life of a seaman, but you didn't find it. Hmm. The same thing with this. Early memories are overshadowed by a terrifying death, a tempest of teeth, scales, and snarls. You never imagined it would end like this. You forget my name, yeah? The Crocs. Man, this game has a lot of text. Can't believe everything is warded. Super cool. Contestants. Is that with everything, even this? So if I eat this ham, oh, it's consumed. Consumed. Special shipment you was asking after. Everything there? Good. Dominique. Source Hounds Hika. Mona. Gracie. And. Where's the more rations, please? Down here, yellow flower. That place here looks nasty. 
It's a person here. Nope. Fort Jorgetto. Uh, inside here. There's a bed here. You can lie there. And then she can lie there. Might as well let him lie. And she can lie. up with this person. Stop fucking moving. Leave me. <coughs> Go. Ha, <laughs> Allah. Get away. Get <coughs> back. At least she groans in pain. Leave me. Go! No. <coughs> Don't you dare. I want... I want to be done. Hmm. Oh, it's just talking to her, making me deceased. Me. <coughs> Go! You leave... Seized. What's this? Collar on, sauce gone. Go. The magister stares at the ground, unaware of your presence. With a start, she looks up and realizes someone is standing right beside her. her the divine is dead. The bishop is all we have left. This isn't some thought experiment, you know. This is real. The Void Woken are here, and only a divine can send them back. Lucian is gone. We are alone. And unless Bishop Alexander ascends... Her voice trails to silence, and she resumes... I do wish Alexander would ascend sooner rather than later. They say his powers are not developing as they should. They blame the Void Woken, but we need his powers to develop so that he may banish the Void Woken. Maybe because he is a fraud. Maybe because he's an idiot. It's quite the pickle. The son doesn't know what ends up like the father, for good or bad. Hmm? Oh, yes. Only a week or two before, well, you know. I wanted to serve him more than anything. But who didn't then? He was driving the Black Ring back, soon to rout them entirely. I wish it every night, more than anything. I put my faith in the bishop. Reminds me of his father. And what he said has been true. Wherever there are sorcerers. The Magister doesn't notice you. Her thoughts seem... Go on, keep moving. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Oh shit, attack. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. It's attacking the cat. Bad luck to let one of them cross your Fuck. Shit. What the fuck? The cat's eyes are clouded. Almost killed him. Oh, okay, so it does it every turn. Nice. Can I do it on her?
she's still deceased. Leave me. <coughs> Do I have anything that gets rid of that? I think it's only on myself though. Yeah, it's only on myself. Wow, he's stuck. Bad luck to let one Shit. of them cross your path. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Wow, he's stuck <laughs> doing that shit. What the fuck? For real? Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Mm, can't go through there. Teleport somebody up here. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Ought to keep well out of sight of the Magisters. Follow your own path. That were to place your surface will take the grip and be careful still. So I'd escape without help. Half faith, we can always find our own, our, our own way out. Ha! Bad luck to that's one something. Of them cross your path. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Bad luck to let one of them Fuck. cross your path. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. Bad luck to let one of them cross your path. If I want to, I can just path. go right here. Bad luck to let one of them cross That's pretty cool path. how I can just like Bad do that. <laughs> this is locked. Ah, oh, okay. I can destroy it. Take a while though. Hmm, that's pretty cool. So I'm not done here yet. Shut the fuck up, man. Damn. Business, long pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Kill my cat. Cheap skate like this, and Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. An intense-looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well-muscled and heavily scarred arms. You recognize him? It's Ifan, who you met aboard the ship on the way here. Just stand nice. aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. was the rules. Burrow looks you both up and down, sizing up your combined threat. Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth a sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me, before more of them trouble us. 
There is a safe place. Uh, restoration. No, not restoration. Resurrect. The black cat. No. Pivan rolls his sleeves back down. He nods at you. The shadow of a smile. Good work there. Good work. I can tell you've got chops. Say, you were on the ship here with me, weren't you? He stretches out one rough hand to shake yours. He grips your hand tight as a vice and shakes it hard. Say, you don't look all that busy now that we're safely on dry land. I could use someone to watch my back, and it looks like you could use someone to watch yours. I've just got a small errand to run. And then I'll be looking to get the hell out of here while I've still got a neck to collar. How about we stick together until we get out of this place? Yeah. I'm keen to get out here. How does he think that'll happen? He shrugs, looking off to the side. Mercenaries. It's a job. My job. Everyone needs to make a living. I make mine running errands. He shoots you a flinty look, all teeth and peril. Lone wolves only share such information with friends. Are we going to be friends? He grins, sharp teeth glittering in the midday sun. So, before we hit the road, it's best if we decide battle strategies up front. Should keep more of our blood in. Survival's my main priority. I'll use every trick in the book to keep us alive. But if a wayfarer's not what you're after, I've got other skills. What do you need? Ah, oh, so he's a wayfarer. That's cool. So he's an archer. Well, not a true archer, wayfarer. Okay. Sure, why not? Can do. Onwards. He scans the horizon for threats with one green eye, then nods back at you. Looks like you've got quite a busy little crew already. My instincts tell me to travel with a smaller pack. But if you happen to lose one, you know where I am. Oh, that sucks. Fuck. Oh, man. I like all these guys. Fane is probably the least... He's the most useful. He's the least one I like. Even Sybil. Sybil's useful. He has lore. I don't think he has bartering and shit. Fuck, I didn't know you can only have max of four. Use that. Use the gloves. Fuck, he's me. He's okay. You get assassins sent after you and shit. Bouncing shields is useful, battle stomp, and he has that dragon blaze ability. Mm. Is there anything else that I want? Yes, the arrows. That. Life essence. I don't care so much. If Anne curls his lip in greeting, a knowing smile on his face. Okay. So, seen all the magnificent sights of Fort Joy already? I've just got a small errand to run here. But then I'll be looking to get there. the hell out of this place while I've still got a neck to collar. What a team up. The prince is okay, he's so annoying. Fane has all that magic ability, he's a wizard. Simple like the the corpse eating things very useful. The usual way. Haphazard, terrifying and drenched in blood. But then haven't quite worked out the details yet. But I'll wager it'll be no worse than what'll happen if we stay put. But if that's the case, then I really don't have a fighter. And 
do like Ivan, who's a cool Alexander. But uh, then I won't have a fighter. A wafer. Mm, I have one melee. Fuck it. I'll keep the red prince. Two heads are better than one. He grins. Looks like you've got quite a busy little crew already. Hmm. I'll keep it the way it is. So I need the fighter. He's some kind of uh, tank, you know? Alright, buddy. Guess you're st stuck with me. The range of wafer is pretty good. And I really have kind of a mage character with this one. I can get rid of Fane. Fane's kind of interesting. As you approach the blacksmith, you feel a bony hand on your arm. Fane leans in and whispers in your ear. Long live and become complicit in any consequences. If it would be acceptable, I have an inquiry for this human. It is of a personal nature. And if it would not be acceptable, well, that would render this entire conversation rather awkward. Fane approaches the blacksmith and quietly speaks to her. You can't overhear much, but he seems to be gesturing towards her head an awful lot. Hmm. Fane's words are quiet. But you hear the blacksmith repeat, Face Ripper, in shock. She slowly starts to back away. What is it with creeps like you and Master Niles? I told him to slither back to his dungeon, and you can get too, freak! Master Niles, okay. Fane backs away, scratching his head. It seems that didn't go as he'd expected. He is lost in thought, though. She must have said something he found interesting. The brave face of it. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts. And what do you after? I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? And everything's just lying around, weapons and shit. Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. We used to know each other back in the day, you know. Dallas and I. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the Order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. God's awful callers. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? For you? <laughs> Hell no. Worthy is exactly the right word. You know, someone who's proven himself might earn my time of day. Speaking of, you haven't. So buy or shove off. All manner of things. Hmm. Elemental totem school book. Farsight, infusion, conjure, incarnate, farsight. Your requirement provides 10 magic armor. Unlock range attack for your incarnate. What's this? Ember ring. Plus one to pyrokinetic. Other scraps. Foresight. Give that to my. Whatever. Find scoop of reader to unlock a new skill. Nice. Set far side shooting. You can unlock range attack for your incarnate for its 10 magic armor. For a month, depends on your level. Increases damage by 25%. Oh, Dallas, you maniac. I guess it's not a passive, I probably will have to use it, pretty much. Like, 
passed it on them. It's right here. Fuck, it's all the way to the end. Really? Oh well. So much shit here. <sighs> Crafting panel, skill panel. Journal, world map, toggle oh, action. This is attack with the currently equipped weapon, unsheathed for your weapon for combat. Enter sneak mold. Okay. The woman looks up as you approach, wiping her brow. What do you need? Ha! <laughs> the hammer got you curious. Yeah, funny name for a gal like that. When I knew her, the feather would have been a likelier name. Oh, I don't know. She was a sweet soul, quiet, loved her family. Always seemed strong, as I recall, but she didn't come across as no fearless military leader back then. She was just a girl. People do change, don't they? She nods once. Clever lass, her. No wonder what Alexander sees in her. Question is, what she sees in him. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts. And what'd you ask her? Get bent. <laughs> I ain't. Just seeing how it's. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Found it in the scrappy. Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back mm. in the day. She nods once. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? Magic and metal, like most of Dallas's designs. Metal keeps, metal it, keeps locked. it locked. Magic makes it work. That's all I know. For you? <laughs> Hell no. That's for me to know, and you to get out of my face. Buy or shove off. Five. If I give her money, she'll help. Fucker. Oops. I was hoping I was able to get five people, not just uh, this amount. Nebora knows more than she's laying. I can really work in those sorts of colors. Hmm. Crane asked for a blacksmith for the vice group to face off corpse. You're going to direct him to the dungeon since someone called Niles. The fucking black cat was killed. What a fucking asshole that guy was. <laughs> now the old business here. Move along. Let's fuck him up. Guru. Kinda. I saw what you did there. Convincing Burrow not to lay the law down on that elf. Why do you want to help one of them? Then you're in the wrong place. We run this. Bloody cavies. Too big for their boots as usual. They ought to keep out of our air if they don't want, you know. Elves, dwarfs, lizards, undesirables. Those of them that would see the whole realm eaten up by the void woke before they change their ways. I wonder if I can uh, see on the map. Dreamer's resting place. Custom marker. I didn't really see where she went. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? What the fuck? Fuck, I was supposed to follow her. Damn it. Who in their right mind would think of a thing like this? 
This sucks, man. What the fuck? Somewhere down here, maybe? I'm not sure. I just went down here. Ah, oh, this is so retarded. Let me keep walking around. Magister Hansa. This is the other side. Saw him, didn't you? The hammer and Alexander. <coughs> They gave that scaly traitor what for they did. Tis a misfortune, sister. <coughs> you lot can't help your condition, but at least the humans of you ain't celebrating the source plague. Bishop's a son of the dead divine. Don't know when we'll get a new one, but Alexander's looking after us in the meantime. All and the hammer's a solid sort. Don't take no guff and don't stand for no idling. Earned that name for a reason, she did. <coughs> During the time of Lucian, of course. Who wouldn't join up with God himself? It was all glory, all goodness. When we lost him, well, it only made sense to see his will through. Can't for certain. But I reckon when God himself gives his life to protect you, you don't <coughs> waste the gift. You protect, so that's what we do. Lucian gave his life to protect Rivalon. If we let the Void Woken get to it now, well, we'd have lost him for nothing. Fort Joy ain't no summer camp. <coughs> no one said it were. But it's the best we've got to protect when you give up the darkness that's inside you. Take your fault, it's there, mine. But it's there, all the same. They're working on a cure for you, even now. Got some good leads, so I hear. <coughs> you can trust Dallas to take care of it. And once you're cured, your life will start again. Hmm. I'm sure did the cure is You did, right? Those claws. Wonder what's behind the masks, too. Can't be pretty. That Magister, that was Bishop Alexander, leader of the Divine Order, and his right hand, Dallas. How do you not know this? What, have you been living under a boulder? Alexander's the Divine's only natural son. Good man. I'm proud to serve him. It's something that seemed right about him. Liberated my hometown from the Black Ring, he did. We never had such peace as we did with his battalion protecting us. Now, why don't you move along and settle in? A magister will come and find you when they're ready for you. Could be a while, though. We're up to our hoods in sinners these days. Hmm. Did you see them, miss? Bishop Alexander and the Hammer herself. They, they were so close, almost within arm's reach. A traitor cannot be murdered. A traitor can only receive their due. The Divine Order is all that stands between everything you see and a Void Woken's throat. Any traitor to them is a traitor to us all. Believe it or don't. The Divine Order doesn't this need our loyalty. They'll save us in spite of ourselves. Oh, that's... Talk to that lady up here. What on you? Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where was he? The Magister goes slightly slack for a brief moment, as though nothing but her spine were keeping her upright. And you're... you're very sure it was him? How... How do you know? Creature? I'm not looking for a creature, but a man. Don't, don't waste my time. 
Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me. The Magister goes... And you're... you're very sure. How... how do you know? Don't waste my time. Don't disturb me again, unless you've seen me go. You have seen him? Tell me, where what... And you're... you're very sure it was him. How... how do you know? Creature? I'm not looking for a creature. I just told her that she attacked me. So am I supposed to have brought uh, evidence of him? Have I spoken to Mira? It's getting tighter. Oh yeah. If you don't like Definitely. the game, Topsy, you can fold. I haven't been to over here. Cavern entrance. Let me go here to the cavern entrance. Here. Say, do all lizards smell like oranges, or is it just that crazy fellow with the pointy tail? Crazy fellow with a pointy tail. Hmm. Mall. Tides in and out and in again. Crazy fellow with a pointy tail. That's not what I want to do. A moment's pause. I had thought us too wicked for rest. In a final why did you assume I wouldn't? The only thing that springs eternal is blood from gushing and water from springs, of course, and flowers from the ground. One must cull to cultivate. Hmm. Huh. I walked up to the quay, asked for the ship to Fort Joy, and declared myself. I'm here to hunt, remember? Here to play a game of tic tac terminate with a special certain someone. We may see no bars, but we are firmly behind them here and now. As I hunt for answers, escape must ever be on our minds. Ha! <laughs> Nonsense. We've already cheated death coming here. We have but to cheat the living to leave. Ha! <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, trust me. May require some needlework, though. One of Ask some lizard. Buddy. Food. That's the doctor. A little reprieve from the din outside. Kellius. You are in the wrong place, Pinky. Fear? <laughs> Pity, perhaps. A blind wolf may lead the pack, but sooner or later they will all starve. If you shared in a heritage so fine as ours, a culture so advanced, you'd remain proud too. But never mind that. If you need to suit up, I can offer you a fair price. If not, I would thank you to move on. Kelias Stunner. Two, three, airs, seven. Physical is a sword. Hmm. That 
Lance Mallet, eight eighty-nine. Bit of sword, crossbow. That's a cool wooden targe. Hmm. I don't think I need any of that right now. Mage's gloves. Magical onboard. Some fighter stuff. Crippling throw. Battle stump. He does have a lot of gold though. gonna be uh like a dungeon okay <laughs> not no one tells me there are so many children in this fort joy your kind I handle but small ones children everywhere and an idiot for good measure the divine truly dies damn I make a joke and Go wow away, she goes small brain what a bitch No one tells me there are so many children in this fort's joy. Magisters I handle, but small ones. I never know how lucky we are. No one tells me there are so many children. An elf lives forever. If she stays away from spears and fire, she has no need for slimy, sticky. What idiot. No one tells me there are so many children in this fort joy. Stay in this cave a while longer. Provoke Modi, the wild one who runs like... Hmm. What's this? The girl's eyes it. are covered, but she turns as you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. I'm very sorry to see the thing inside. Is it becoming stronger? I see it before my eyes. This case is dangerous. He doesn't want you to know. He doesn't want you to hear its name. Something stirs within. Your heart begins to race. I... I can tell you though. The elf visibly shudders and suddenly starts to sweat. Or get killed by me. There's no time. It is it is angry now. You need to stop it now. Suddenly, your spirit shrinks away in terror. The thing looms. Your hands are suddenly desperate to rip the young elf apart. You want her skin under your nails, her blood in your mouth. Skill. Hmm. Just take a deep breath. One needed three. You can't stop it. The voice is too loud. The pool is too strong. We must hurt you if you hurt us, Losa. It is the only way to wake you up. Do you hear me? Please, you must subdue. Hurt her to save her. It's the only way. Okay. Oh, shit. Really? I guess I could attack her. No, no, no. Fuck! That's not what I want to do. What the fuck, man?
Fuck, can I... Shit. That's not what I wanted to do. What the fuck, man? Whatever, I didn't even do much anyways. I can't believe that shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's stupid. She walked right inside from my fucking path. How far back am I? Are you fucking kidding me? This is where I am? Ah! I should have saved. The creature heaves through lips. You, you, you. Quite lost. Now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. You want to leave. You want to go. Tell me where the yarrow grows. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me now. Or shall I pick your parts clean too? It's easy. <laughs> Where does the yarrow grow? Fuck, I can't believe I'm so far back now. Ah, uh, so fucking annoying. At least my cat's still fucking alive. That's good. The dead man, creature, thing, lies in a heap on the beach. Whatever it was, it was too- It had to die. an audience you deserve. Oh shit, I forgot. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, that killed me. Yeah. I completely forgot about that. The, uh... I completely forgot that he doesn't heal. Man, I'm just fucking up, man. <laughs> like, first of all, I forgot to, like, fucking save. Amigos M2. 
TNT. New character, salmon. Oh, okay, this year. Man, ugh. Can't believe how stupid this thing is. Amid the squalor of four, she was her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfor No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? But you did. And now the day. A push, a pivot, and despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice a flaw in her duck. Let me t once, but now I'm free. I intend to raise the subject with him. <sighs> no! She drives the needle in deep. In truth, it does. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. A bright sparkle. Uh, make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Escape. <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm not quite... With a casual... Let's discuss... You mean, as a rogue, my speciality is... Suits me fine. Lead on, then follow me. You're not quite certain. Alright, so... I have a robe here somewhere. That I would like to equip on myself. If I could remember where I put it. So, oh, right here, leather armor. Actually, oh, I forgot to put on leather armor on him. So she gets leather armor. And somewhere here, I have again a robe. I can go on him, I suppose. Out of sword. Here's the roll. Good. There, I got her. If it matters, this is Fort Joy. The delivery. What a crumbling disaster. Hey, you're a little light in your pack, ain't you, girl? Who could blame you with the garbage they got for sale? Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Procured by special means. <laughs> Fend for yourself then, sweetheart. I'll take what I want after the Reds get to you. Hold on. Come on, come back here. Horrible surrounding for an agreeable conversation. But... Haven't got shanked through the gills yet. Ugh. You're a Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Procured by special means. Hey. Oh, nice try, Midge. Now, uh, put that shiner away, and I'll shave a little off the top, how about? Sounds good to me. Probably won't buy anything anyways. Adrenaline, chloroform. Hmm. Backlash. Oh, rogue stuff. We'll do this plate. Fire fire resistance for HP. Plug 10% of melee damage as fire damage. Hmm. Worse than more rations, Expensive. please. Magical leather trousers. Plus a percent to dodging. Oh. Good for right now. Perhaps it does bleed. Leave him be. Listen, shut up, elf. This clown caught him stealing from my kitchen. <coughs> supplies. A crate of food. Sit. All I want is my supplies. <coughs> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter. It ain't been here. He twirls his divine's gone. An elf. You. You. Perceptive. 
Like most men behind bars, I'm innocent. Like most... I do. I... But... You guess, Griff, tell... I'll tell you what I know. But first, I know a way out. Finally, Griff, after I am free, you are free. I see no one. In fact, I only hear Griff is a powerful man. Power is mysterious. In case you haven't, I intend no harm. You understand. Thank you. Alright, this time I'm gonna fucking save. Alright, yes. What? That's weird. 